Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been quite a while. Uh, the last video I did was back in January when I did the January Monster Bass. So, been a little busy, plus weather has been a little crazy around here. So, I have not had a chance to do a video. But, we finally got some uh, decent weather right now. So, I'm outside. About to bring you guys another Monster Bass video. This one is the February video, but before we jump into that, if y'all would, please go ahead and go down there to the bottom. Not really the bottom of the screen, but just right there underneath the screen where the video is playing and hit that subscribe button. And make sure you click on the bell so that way you get notified of all the videos. And if you like this video, then share the video and also leave me a thumbs up. Drop comments down below. Tell me what you think about the videos, what you like about them, don't like about them. Uh... Tell me, what do you think since last month when Monster Bass has been doing these takeover boxes? Last month, we had the Lunker Hunt takeover. This month, if you haven't seen any other videos from Monster Bass, this month was a Z-Man takeover. So the boxes are full of lures from Z-Man. Just one second. What? Frazier was calling me. Sorry. Okay, I will call him back. Go. Hi. Go. 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 You're going to edit that part out, aren't you? Probably. How rude. I know. So, let's go ahead and jump into this month's February Monster Bass box. Okay, so digging down to the bottom of this box, we have our cool card with uh, some Z Man pictures on the front, pictures on the back. Uh, our card that has the description of everything that's in this month's box. It does not have prices, but you can go to Bass Pro Shop, Tackle Warehouse, any of those sites. Also, uh, one of the guys that I like to follow, uh, they do have an Instagram and Facebook. Follow us at Z-Man Fishing Products. Uh, you can probably also check out some of the professionals. One of the guys that I watch who uses Z-Man products is uh, Brian Latimer. Most people know him as B-Lat. He does a lot of videos talking about his lures that he uses from Z-Man and how you rig them. So check out his videos and uh, some of the great tips that he's got. Also, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the Monster Bass channel as well as their social media. Their guys are always putting out some good content, good tips on how to fish the products that come in the Monster Bass boxes. So, without further ado, guys, let's jump right into this, see what we got. Uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and dig down here to the bottom. If I can get this stuff out, you get a Monster Bass sticker, like always. This is actually a new sticker, so that one, I don't know where that one's going to go yet. Uh, you have your Monster Bass Golden Ticket. If you are watching Monster Bass every Thursday at 7 p.m., Monster Bass goes live on YouTube. If you've, get one of the, you've got one of these cards and they call out your number, you win some kind of free prize, so you might want to check that out. All right, now let's jump into it. First bait is, this is the David Walker uh, Z-Man Cross-Eyed chatterbait this color is the fire crawl uh if you don't know chatterbaits they've been around for a while chatterbaits bladed jigs whatever um here in arkansas where i met we're kind of starting to transition from that winter fishing to that early spring like i said the weather here today we had some good weather but i wouldn't really call it spring weather yet so this is still a cold water bait uh this would be good slow rolling over some grass on a grass line uh maybe throwing it up next to some lay downs or some brush piles that are in the water and kind of swimming this along really really slow i would say slow to medium speed but you don't really want to burn it because you got to remember those fish are still very uh lethargic lazy they're inactive at the moment so they're not going to really be chasing a lot of bait fish but next I'm going to jump over and do this because next we have the Z-Man Razor Shad also in Fire Crawl. And even in this little pamphlet, if you can see right there, 
where it says that these two is a perfect match. So match these up and with the chatterbaits as well as swim jigs, your trailers is going to play a big difference in how deep. Uh, if you put some kind of a crawl bait because you have those two appendages that are kicking, it's going to help raise your bait up and kind of keep it over that grass. The minnow style trailers is going to help you uh, get the bait down, stay more of a more in a swimming action, I guess kind of the same, imitates more of a bait fish, whereas when you have some kind of a crawl trailer or creature bait trailer, you kind of get more of a, of a crawfish look. But those two paired up really nice, same colors, so definitely a good match. Next, we have the uh, Chatterbait CFL Bladed Football Jig. This chatterbait is different from the other one just because the head on this is more of a football shape. So your football head jigs, this resembles more of that. And according to the pamphlet here, it says that this pairs up really good with the Z-Man Goat. Uh, this jig here is in the color PB&J, and then the goat comes in the color that they call the deal. But these would pair up good. Um, I would say with that football head jig... Um, I would probably work this pretty close to the bottom again slow uh, the goat has those two appendages so it's going to help rise and keep it up so you're going to have to really work this one slow uh, you might even be able to drag this to the side like you would a regular jig but those two paired up really nice okay and then we have these uh hang on hang on right here the willow vibe rapid vi uh, vibration bladed jig heads so you have these jig heads that have the blade kind of like a chatterbait and these would pair up really nice to these finesse shads in this pearl color and these jig heads are also a pearl color so again you have a little bit more you have a little bit of a chatterbait action along with this small presentation bait to imitate a small bait fish and Basically, you just run these up like you do on any jig head with that uh, barb there, the bait keeper. And what I've learned from watching a lot of the uh, BLAT videos, uh, Z-Man Plastics is made with Elastec. So once you get it up to that barb, you're just going to have to pinch it and pull it up over that barb. But once you get it on there, it will not pull off. It basically will not come off of there. So there's really no need for super glue for the guys who... Uh, started using super glue on their baits, attaching them to the jig head so they didn't pull down. So with, with Z-Man Elastec, you, you really don't have to do all of that. And then the last bait that we have is a pack of swim bait eyes jig heads. And then pair these up with the Minnow Z's, also in the color the Deal. And um, you can just throw these, you know, up towards brush piles, lay downs, run them over grass. Just whatever. You just have to remember that these do have exposed hooks. So they will hang up pretty easy. But uh, these are all really, really great baits to use. And like I was saying earlier, right there in the box is a picture of b -Lat himself holding up a monster using the jig heads and the minnow Z. So some great lures here. From Z-Man, as always, I'm going to be really excited to get out on the water and try to use these. I'm going to try to get out tomorrow and use some of these, as well as some other lures that I've gotten that I haven't gotten a chance to use. But that is it for my Monster Bass box for February. I've got to get out of here. I've got to go work a ball game at the school that I work at. So... Let me hurry up and get out of here. Also, some really, really exciting news that uh, that I'll be sharing with you guys probably on the next video. But uh, let me get out of here so I can go get ready for this game. And hopefully sometime soon, I'll see you guys in the great outdoors. Take care, guys.